Being a heart-centered man is a beautiful thing. It's important. Having a closed heart does no one any real good. It's not what we're here to do. We're here to learn how to have that heart open. And you do have a very beautiful heart. It's compassionate. Just to even be sensitive enough to say what you did about a woman's emotions to this woman, right? If you come exclusively from your heart when you're doing that and you're empathizing with her emotion, you're going to create emotional resonance with her. She's going to emotionally feel very safe around you. She's going to feel seen by you in a really nice way. She will not feel polarized by you if you're sharing her empathy. Does that make sense what I'm saying? And the other men on the call, if, if that makes sense what I just described, just raise your hand so I know that the rest of you also. Okay, excellent. So a lot of men struggle to even find that heart-centeredness or that heart sensitivity with women. It's an incredible gift. But most women are out in the world and they're like, okay, I have two choices. I have the fucking asshole who has a rock hard stone heart who can't feel shit that I can choose from. And then I have the other guy who's more designed like you, has this incredibly open, soft, empathetic heart that she can co-mingle with. And a lot of women will toggle back and forth between one or the other type of guy. How many men are aware of that? This is pretty standard process for women. So they'll, they'll choose one guy who feels like, you know, milk and honey to her soul. And she just is bathed in this kind of loving presence. She's never felt so seen or safe in her life. And then at a certain point, that's not it for her anymore. And she's going to look out into the world at her options. And she's going to be like, okay, I need the alternative. I need the guy who's closed heart but he's hard. Do you know what I mean by hard? He's just a hard fuck, right? And that hardness, she wants to fuck. She wants to be fucked by that hardness. It's, it's an emote. We even use it in our language. Like, oh, he's hard. You know, he's a hard, you know, cold fuck, right? That hardness she wants to fuck. She does want to be penetrated by that hardness. So women will go to that and then suddenly they'll feel not seen, unloved, abused even, oftentimes, by men of that nature. And then they'll have to go find a man with this beautiful heart. What she would love more than anything is to feel a man who has the heart that you already have, but who is also capable of breathing down into his balls, like his balls weighed 50 pounds, sitting up like he was about to go into war with that kind of laser-like precision. And when she shows emotion, your heart is right there with her. But you're holding space for her to be in it. You don't join her in it at all. You let the emotion run through her body entirely. And you polarize her by being still, grounded. Your breath gets deeper when she starts to open. Now, as I describe this, nothing overtly sexual has to happen. You don't even need to be directly looking at her. You can do this in the most appropriate way, you know, without violating her in any sense. Just by offering that kind of presence to somebody it's going to start polarizing them immediately. This is why women fall in love with their therapists all the time, because it's someone who is holding space for their emotional process and giving them guidance, but not processing the emotion with them. Do you guys understand that? So when you begin to embody that disposition in your body physically as a yoga, she's gonna feel your heart openness 
and the part of you that could fuck her open to God through that penetrative hardness. Does this make sense what I've described? 